cleaning, scraping, sanding, brushing, trying to get this roof prepped. This is what the truck camper looks like after hours and hours and hours and hours and probably some more hours of scraping and sanding and scrubbing. Trust me, I am always up for finding a better way of doing something if I can, especially when it's really hard work. But I tried power tools on this and it didn't work. There are a couple of reasons I think it didn't work is that this just the nature of this stuff, the way it was worn out on here. And then also this top has sustained hail damage in the past, which you can't really notice quite as bad now, but on the inside you can see it. And every one of those impact points has a little divot in it. So it's not a flat surface at all. <laughs> and the sander that we have and stuff. Tried it, didn't work, it was terrible. <laughs> so I had to do it all by hand. And this is as good as it's gonna get. The rest of this stuff is on here really good. Like you can't even scrape it off with a metal scraper hardly. So I'm leaving it, it's been sanded, it's been super cleaned. Now it's time for the elastomeric coating. Yay! Is this OSHA? Probably not. The roof of the truck camper is now recoated with elastomeric coating, which is called Tropicool, and it's Henry brand, and we bought it at Home Depot. Uh, one can says it's supposed to cover 70 square feet, but I this is not 70 square feet, or it's it's a little more than that and I still have paint left over I don't know you know maybe I'm supposed to put it on thicker but it seems like it's pretty thick now I put it on with a roller a six inch like nap kind of roller and I really just gooshed it on here and then rolled or rollered it out each time the, the quality of it seems really good like I'm touching it and I want to describe it as a very rubbery kind of feel. This stuff says on the can that it's 100% silicone. It's glossy. It goes on pretty smooth, but it's not, it's kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't, quite as rough as like rhino lining or something like that. It's not quite like that, but it's, um, it's kind of got some texture to it. But at any rate, I'm satisfied with it, especially for the roof. We'll see if over time I, continue to agree with that statement you'll notice these bolts or it's not really bolts it's threaded rods sticking up through the roof of the rv that's the mounts for the where the bra the rack that dave made is going to attach to the top of the truck camper so those are up there they're all sealed and uh that's where we're at